<laughs> okay, all right. Chat is working again. That's good. That's proper. It's even fading too. Oh, that's amazing. Let's put another realm. I guess, yeah, the other chat. The eviler chat, yes. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Rebellion here, and welcome back to Labyrinth of Galeria, the Moon Society. I said I might grind, and I gotta tell you, only two hours. I really held myself back there. Mainly because I kept on doing it and thinking, you know what? I probably should just wait to see what is the supposed promised land of the next area to grind magical stuff. So I stopped like <laughs> partway through. We've been expecting you. Now then, I wish you a safe journey. So let me show you what I've done. Not much, honestly. Though William on the YouTube side did get to back to me and say what to do with his character. So he's now the other spear person, who's actually a land person, but he wants to keep his spears, so we did it. I just sort of made that change, and it's fine now. It still works out, though, because, like, Lancer still has plus because we still have the skills for it, but... It works out just fine. Aside that, everyone is just now slightly higher level. Nobody has reincarnated it aside William, so thankfully nothing new to update aside that. Everyone still is very high level, so hopefully whatever is going to be thrown at us can be handled easily enough. Oh shit, I did actually. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, Shin. Okay. So, letting you know your cannon is at C, so you're not going to do anything with it, but at the very least, now you know what you want to do, so equip the cannon. Gotcha. Do I have a good cannon for you? Not one better than this, so you're going to take a hit no matter what. If you want to do Capricorn, we will go for it. This is the best I got, I think. Just two-hand this. And a hope for the best. It is the highest attack one we have. Only 14 less. So, and higher crit chance, I guess. So, sure. Yep, probably eventually. Let's go back to normal ordinary world instead of nightmare world because I was on nightmare to grind for a little bit. And now, back to our locally or our regularly scheduled mystery of where the fuck do I go now? I forgot. <laughs> gotta remember correctly. We need to find more curios. And I gotta remember which places we go to to find them. And I think it's probably this one right here. So, let's go to the Nigo Transept and see. But I'm trying to like find and focus in on shining. But apparently they're supposed to, they show up in an order based on when we found the um uh Cheerios, I think so. Slightly different from what I remember because my memory is, as the stream may know, not the best. Not this way either. Wait, do I even know where I'm going? Here and around. Gotcha. Okay. Actually, wait. I can not make a pit stop there. I never explored this. <laughs> I love that. Via me, oh fish. Was there anything even here? There was actually. I 
don't think there was a shortcut way to get to that thing. So, run from me. I need to go this way too anyway, so works out. Oh, I never got the indigo. Oh, I did actually. I just saw the thing on the top on the left that say like, you need the key. I thought, oh, I don't have that. No, but I am smart. I... I'll let you live for now. Not this way. You break the wall right here. And then you break this wall. at all. No, because it's all the way down at the bottom. So, technically, this wall or this wall do we break in here? Do that. And do that. Actually, just the wall behind me. Here, to the left, and then down. That does it. So I'm going to go this front, in which case that's going to require go into this. And here, which still leads back to the middle, so fuck it. forward. Don't try to think I'm going to find anything new here, I think. Alright. And from here, well, I could just... My note. Foe everywhere. I could try to clear out the rest of this thing, but the main goal is to go to the top right. Sure. Hey, Rev. Possible to put a extra game content up on the game vote? What do you mean, extra game content? As in post game and the like? Reader, welcome back, Charles G. Yeah, I'm curious if you mean just like post game content. Is that what you're referring to? I mean, I feel like that would only be done immediately after we end the stream. To go back to a game like that now, like for in your example, if I were to go back to play Final Fantasy XII and those stuff, it might be rough. And I already have a policy sort of of playing into post-game content, especially if it contains story-critical things. For example, in the original Labyrinth of Galeria, or Labyrinth of Refrain, we got an ending and it was good. I liked it. I was satisfied with it, but then it showed that there was more at the end of the game with the transportation to another world and saying this is essentially harder stuff, possibly post-game, because they already saw actual credits. And I said, you know what? We're going to do it. And it was amazing. I loved it. Same with the Disgaea games, even, too. At least before you start distorting. And you, as your party, open your eyes. You find yourself in a completely different location. There we go. New place. No item on the ground this time. At least we're collecting things to add to the um, uh, collection here. Or progression points, really.
There was a sun-shaped ornament before you. You've seen something similar somewhere else. Is there another one of these devices? You hold your hand against the device, and something appears from the crest. How's it going, Kyoko? Welcome! Oh, me. I'll be waiting for Nanaka. They'll be back once spring rolled around, and... Be caught in my cunts. No idea what that character is. The crest flashes brightly, and then the illusion disappears. Who exactly was that just now? Without your confusion, you no longer sense the space distortion that was recently present here. Your party leaves the area. At least not jumping like that. You're scaring me. Clairvoyance Medallion. You sense an intense power from the curio. Maybe it's a curio to art that the witch wants. Time to head back and report to the witch. All right, then. I'm actually going to do the force transfer back. Go into this again. Not activate that, because I never went into this section. So I actually do not know what's over here. The enemies here, I think, probably are not afraid of me. Never mind, they are. Alright, so it was actually really smart here. I thought there was going to be more here. Take a mud exit and get out immediately. What's new? While Fanti is out exploring, I'm currently researching the four Curio to Art we've obtained. The first one's known as the Tail Strength. It's a pendant-shaped Curio. Its powers are completely unknown. What I will say is my magic has increased while holding it, so there's a chance it had a part in it, but I'm not certain yet. The second one is an ancient coin of Est. I assumed it summons misfortune when one holds it, but sometimes it seems that's not the case. The third is the Screw of Grima. Galaya. Honestly, I have no idea what it does. It may only activate under special conditions. The fourth one is Suya's Mirror. From what I know, it seems to nullify the magic of the one reflected. Normally, it's fogged over. I'm fairly sure of it. That's all four items. However, the location of the ancient coin of Est is currently unknown. I suspect the journalist... I, uh, I suspect the journalist. I plan to discuss it with the Count. Also, I've made Eureka keep a pet bird. When the owner of the house keeps a small pet, it shall bear him the full force of any curse. Looks like um, she named the uh, the bird Ryu Ryu. Ryu Ryu. Something like that. It's the, it's the same name as a bird she had long ago. I don't care as long as she's the one who named it. Rib chicken meat proper, I know, right? I'm sure that even the slightest hint of a curse here would take out such a weak little animal. It's a safety precaution if something goes wrong. P.S. Still nothing from Kit. I don't know if something's up or not. I'm honestly worried about whether or not I'll be able to come home. I'll be told to come home. There. That'll do it. Huh? You back, Fanti? Sweet. That's our fifth curio to art, then. Well, there's still a lot to figure out, but I better tell the Count about them. And the thief. A ruckus is heard coming from the Tribuna. Not sure why, but it seems like there's been a lot of commotion upstairs since morning. <sighs> been a bit since my last all-nighter. Hold on, it's afternoon already? The fifth curio de art. Maybe I'll investigate it first, and then sleep. C count Come on, come on! Yeah! <sighs> come on! Nay for me! Bray Pony Bismont! Yeah! What? Me! 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 <laughs> uh. 
Count Bithron approaches, crawling on all fours with a well-dressed person on his back. What's going on? What are you looking at? Uh, uh, I think the journalist who visited the other day has stolen one of the curio. Huh? Who are you? Huh? Madam Witch, this is Prince Hubert. His Royal Highness is also an artist, and he has come here today seeking inspiration for his work. I'm deeply honored that a member of the royal family has chosen to visit us. He'll be staying for some time, so be sure to mind your manners. Well then, your highness, please ask my servants if there's anything you desire, no matter what that may be. Is that clear, Madam Witch? I expect you to behave appropriately and avoid making careless mistakes. This one whisper whispers the Nachiru's ear. I'll show you no mercy if you're accused of Lee's majesty for opposing him. You must obey him. Understood? Kambithmon gallops off in a manner never seen before as he leaves the room. He escaped! Uh, Count Bismont? <laughs> Ask the servants, huh? As far as I'm concerned, he's one of them as well. So... You're the shady witch who restored that old tart's youth? Huh. You're younger than I expected. Like you're a kid or something. How old are you anyway? Huh? I'm... 17. Really? Do boobs grow that big at 17? Or did you use magic to shape them? Let me squeeze that padding of yours. H hey, stop! As Hubert reaches for Nachiru's chest... <sighs> Prince Hubert. Let me show you. You should do it like this. Uh, huh? What was that? Oh, was that the power of the curio? What? You're enjoying this? How disgusting. Uh, huh? What are you talking about? Uh, Prince, you, your highness! Um, food's ready! It's absolutely scrumptious! Please enjoy! Food? You mean my regale, yes? You are quite empty-headed, aren't you? <laughs> but your meal really is a grand feast! Very well, I'll try some. You, prepare to show me some of your magic. Will any magic do? Try to restore the Count's youth right before me using the same potion you made for that hag. Then I'll believe your whole witch story. Prince Hubert leaves. What's his problem? Guess I'll have to make that potion again. It uses such rare ingredients, too. What is this? Scraps? Huh? It was made with fresh vegetables grown by Miss Toba. So it's just grass? Well, wait! I can vouch for how delicious it tastes! Please try it! This stew gains the praise of even the pickiest critics back in my village. <laughs> and Hubert spits it out. <gasps> These are disgusting, muddy flowers. Oh, those daisies are the pride of my village. I pressed them and brought them here as a good luck charm, but now I've used them to... They reek. You dare attempt to make me eat this filth? I'd behead you if we were at the royal capital. Prince Hubert hurls a plate, and it breaks. A shard grazes Eureka's face. Uh. I've lost my appetite. If you want to see the morning sun tomorrow... Make sure dinner is at least edible. I... I'm sorry. <laughs> Summon the Count and that witch. It's time she showed off her magic. Come on, I've waited a whole damn hour already. Hurry up and show me. Count, uh... I think I'll only be making you a bit younger since this potion is rather small. <laughs> This is perfect. 
I've been feeling more and more tired as of late. The man does not want to do this. I'm so deeply grateful for his royal highness's kind consideration. Enough flattery. Get on with it. Oh, and just so you know, if this magic fails, then all of you will have to submit to my will as obedient servants from now on. <laughs> this bitch! You shall do whatever I fancy. What are you even talking about? I refuse to be conned after being dragged out to the ghettos. I am royalty. If you refuse, I'll have you thrown in jail. <laughs> anyway, get it over and done with, Count. Drink up. Count Bithmon grips the bottle with resolve before drinking just a mouthful of the potion. <laughs> Take some more. R right. Tempest Mall takes a second and third sip. But unlike the queen, nothing happens. Why? Uh, I knew it was a sham. But it worked for the queen. Why is it different this time? Look, I'll give you one final chance. Come with me, redheaded tramp. As for the Count and the Blonde, I won't need you. Nachi! <laughs> Scared you just now, didn't I? I take it you've received a thrashing by them before? I'm well aware. <sighs> Ah, here he comes. Patch brings over a donkey. S Sir King, I got it. Uh, I mean, I have brought it, good sir. <laughs> this is the first lackey I made on my way over here, which means this kid is your superior, redhead. Give him a proper greeting. N nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't move, Koo! <clears throat> Listen, Reddy. This is your last chance. If you're a real witch, turn this ass into a man. People say witches turn people into rats and frogs all the time. I can't do it. Humans can be turned into animals, but I doubt animals can be turned into humans. Oh? Very well. Do that instead. It's probably not a good idea to use the Count. Hmm, should be fine if you use the dim-witted blonde, though. Your hair is pretty blonde as well, actually. Well, this written, I think well, I can turn you into whatever the fuck I want, then. Turn her into a donkey. It'll be amusing. She won't know what hit her. If you do that, I will exonerate you. Huh? Look, you don't know a thing about her. What's with you, red-headed tramp? You sure are defiant. Let me be clear. If you ever defy me or try anything, let's see, then I'll have my guards toy with the two of you until you both die. Did you really come here in search of inspiration for your art? Excuse me? What would a commoner like you know about the creative forces that inspire art? Shut your mouth, tramp. Here, I'll even give you some time. Make sure everything is ready by tomorrow. Prince Ewart departs. N Nachi! Are you okay? Your face. The wound on Eureka's forehead is bleeding. Possibly due to her not tending well to it. <laughs> I'm fine. It's just a small cut. <sighs> New request memos. Final bacon. That. And now I have to find more curios. 
Though I'm... Pr What's the next curio? Can we might find a way to make sure the curio he uses is the one that makes them get strangled by the moon, by the next full moon? Because that would be a great time to science that one out. We already saw the indigo transept one. That's a dimensional distortion that we already saw. The yellow transept, we already saw that one. We already saw the one in apps floor one. We already saw the one in apps floor five, I believe, because this one already has something right here. There haven't been one right here yet in floor nine, because this is where we found another curio as well. All right, let's go to Narthex then. Um, was there any darkness here? I mean, it's up there on the top, but... Here we are. This area. So from Narthex 1, go. Can we go further in the apartments? We already finished the apartments, BB guy. Technically, I think we already reached the end. At the very least, we have nothing telling us to go back there and explore further. Because we explored the apartments up until there was something that said there's nothing further anymore. Like, the rest of it was under construction and not operable. So we probably have to wait until the game tells us to go back there. Right, not that one. The text is appearing on screen, so I can't check if it's the one to jump or not. I don't care enough about the first mud. Just keep going. Here, darkness. All right, now should be the next one. As you and your party open your eyes, you find yourself in a completely different location. It seems you've been taken from where you were. This one does not have like a cheerful background music this time. You discovered a sun-shaped relic. We drain on it, and nothing seems to happen. Another broken one? Maybe it'll fix itself over time. Head back and report to the witch. In that case, let's uh, make the fourth mud exit right there. And I'll use a witch bell just to make sure I don't have to climb all the way back here again. Even if it's not exactly a long climb at all, just saving whatever little time I can. And I want to see what she does. A young man that calls himself a prince arrived. Looks like he's um, uh, heard about the queen's youth being restored and wants me to show my magic. If I don't, I might get jailed. I'm so not used to how th uh, they do things here. I want to go back to uh, Ma, Alstella. Kit hasn't made contact. Am I stuck? I haven't been able to check out the Curio Fanti brought back yesterday. It's the middle of the night, but I need to fulfill the prince's request. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. <sighs> but I gotta think of a way to do this. Turn the donkey into a human? Or any animal? What if Eureka... Uh, no, I can't. I'll probably be able to turn her back afterwards. 
but I don't know what side effects there might be. If only I could turn an animal into a human. Gah, why did I leave Pole's Book of Magic behind? Damn it. Still... Let me be clear. If you ever defy me or try anything... Let's see... Then I'll have my guards toy with the two of you until you both die. Uh, this place is so... barbaric. If I can't do what he's asking, I can at least show him some magic. But I don't know how much I can do with the mana here. Ugh. Not sure his ring glows. <laughs> Hello, Brew? Can you see me? Hear me? K Kit? Oh, you sound well. Seems like you're having fun. What? Moron, you're such an idiot! Why haven't you contacted me? Ah, uh, my bad. I tried a couple of times, but it didn't go through. Wonder why. Like I'd have a clue. Calm down. I'm talking to you right now, aren't I? All's well that ends well. <sighs> okay, fine. Whatever. Still no Claris, huh? Oh, your old pal Kit not good enough for you. I haven't seen Claris around. She won't usually show up unless the UP does. So, how are things over there? You getting by without making contact? Huh? Um... So... About that... I've actually been found. Not just by people in the manor, but other people, too. It's pretty much impossible to stay hidden. Oh. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I thought that was the case. You did your best. That's what matters. You're not... mad? How can I be? You're the one off in Aluna putting your best foot forward. Just try not to stir trouble. Uh, okay. Oh, I have to mention. There's a Prince Hubert here right now. You know what's up with that guy? Prince Hubert? One second. Hmm. There's no Hubert in the history books. There's a Hurian and a Bert, though. Maybe you got the name wrong. Or... Maybe he's faking his identity. That... can't be right. <sighs> Don't let it get to you too much. You only have three things you gotta do. Make sure you eat right, wash your face every morning, and don't fool around too much by yourself. Hey, wh what are you talking about? <laughs> Nellie told me. If you fall asleep and screw up, well, I won't even be able to look at you. Whoops, looks like the connection's not doing so hot. We might get cut off. Oh, one last thing. There is one rule you absolutely cannot break. Don't talk about Alstella. Don't even mention its name. Also, you can use magical items and potions, but don't use magic in a way that it can't be perceived as anything else but magic. Got it? Huh? That's two things. And why'd you wait until now to tell me? And how's my mom? Oh, no. Wait, I still have questions. I got the question, something disappears. It cut out. Give me a break. We finally got in touch. I wanted Kit to help me, but I just got a warning instead. N Nachi, what was that just now? Huh? Uh, what do you mean, just now? That thing you just did. That's super amazing magic! Who was that? Uh, uh, I think you're seeing things. Huh? No, I'm not. I was watching the whole time. That person mentioned history and... All Stella? Stuff like that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the one time. The one rule never to break. Not even a second. You heard all of it? 
I guess I'll just have to turn you into an animal. Huh? <sighs> like I could do that. Okay, fine. I'll explain, but only as much as I'm allowed to. And don't tell the Count or anyone else about anything you heard. Never, ever, ever. So it's like... a secret? Yes, don't... tell anyone. Of course I won't tell! It's important to you, after all! I won't tell a soul! No way! But I need to do something about the Prince's request right now. The Prince's request? What do you mean? Natura explains her talk with, the, with Prince Hubert. Okay, so you're a witch, but you don't want to put your magic on display, right? In that case, as long as you do something that just looks like magic, he should believe you. Huh? I mean, you've made loads of impressive potions, and you've done tons of other things too, haven't you? I haven't seen you shoot sparks and light everywhere and stuff, but I know you're a great witch! Maybe I can pull it off with a curio. I could enchant something and use Suyu's mirror to dispel it. Yeah, that could work. That's it! Thanks, Yuri. This just might work. So you thought of a way to do it? <laughs> I'm glad to hear that! Prince Hubert, considering the works of art here, animals are not... Shut your mouth! What I say goes. For the rest of the day, Count, until I say otherwise, you won't take a single step out of your room. Do you understand? Prince Hubert and Patch come in with a donkey. Now then, Scarlet Harlot, it's time for you to give me a good show. I said this already, but I can't turn animals into people. I can show you magic some other way, though. That'll be enough, right? Excuse me? How dare you? I even went out of my way to bring a donkey here. <sighs> I suppose it's fine as long as you can prove that you're a witch. But if you screw up this time, you'll have to turn Blondie into an animal. As my third follower, hmm, you'll be Patches first. Say whatever you want, you dumb brat. Atru suddenly takes out a curio and the item she turned into a glass apple last night. I'll use the mirror to turn the apple on this donkey's head into a flower. <sighs> Natural holds the mirror in front of the apple, causing it to glow and shift before everyone's eyes. Wow! It turned into a flower! You did it! Please. That's the sort of trick a street side magician does to fool kids. I've seen enough. You can't use magic. End of story. Huh? Uh, um... <laughs> Kuz... What? Huh? The donkey begins to transform. Before long, a naked man stands behind Prince Hubert. Uh... What? It's... the... the donkey. Who? The donkey suddenly climbs on Prince Hubert. Ugh, gross! Gross! Ugh, help me! Get this thing off of me! <laughs> what? Just happened? A donkey was someone transformed into a donkey, I think. All right, then. How's the prince? He just woke up. I'm going to have a little chat with him now that he seems to have calmed down a bit. Okay. Ku's in the corner of the room, terrified. What was all that? It wasn't your magic? No. 
Why did the donkey turn into some naked old guy? It doesn't make any sense. It had to have been the curio. I can't just leave things like this either. I'll look into Coo- The donkey guy, I mean, a little more. <laughs> uh, how are you holding up? <laughs> I was wondering if you would like to talk, but only if you want to. Is she really a witch? Did she really make that old bat younger? Y yep, that's right. Nachi's incredible. She's a great witch. A great witch. Okay, I'll talk to you. But you have to take off your clothes. Hurry up already. Off with your clothes. Huh? I can't. It's not proper. So what? I don't care. Close off. Hurry up. Uh... Uh, I'll be embarrassed if I'm the only one. Prince Hubert loses his patience as Eureka fidgets. Uh, whatever. You can keep your clothes on, but put out the lights as soon as you get a look. And... Other than the witch, you better not tell anyone about this. Got it? Lord Norton and that old queen don't know about this. Huh? Prince? Y you're a girl? What? You think it's weird? Well, I guess it might be. My family made a pact with a witch a long time ago. My bloodline received authority in exchange for only birthing daughters. The royal families experienced peace and stability, but only women were born into it. Every single one of us, female. But my father wanted me to be a prince, so he told me to act like one in front of others. I even changed my name to Hubert. That's awful. No, it's not. Because I am a man at heart, but as a man, I also like men. Don't you get it? Huh? But I like guys too. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not my point. My body might be female, but I know I'm a man. At the same time, I... Still like men! Ugh, you don't understand anything I'm saying, do you? I don't even get it myself. It's so frustrating. Nobody understands me. Who am I supposed to talk to about this? Who could even do anything for me? Uh, I get it. I mean, I'm not very bright, so I don't exactly understand what you're going through. But I get it. Empty words! Have you ever heard the sound of your heart stuttering in your chest? The sound of it tearing apart? You don't get it at all. Don't try and pretend you can. I do! You're stuck in a rut you can't break free of. I understand that much. You've been through a lot of pain. Yeah. The reason I came here... It doesn't have anything to do with artistic inspiration. It's because I saw the old lady looking all young again. I figured if anyone could help me, it'd be the witch who helped her. If you feel that strongly about it, I'm sure Nachi will help. Really? Yeah, she's a great witch after all. I don't know why, but you remind me of my mother. The prince went home with a smile. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? He really did get inspiration for his artwork. <laughs> the credit's all yours. If I talked to him any more than I did, I probably would have decked him. No! It was thanks to all your hard work. You endured everything and did your best. You even granted his wish of having a male body. Wait, 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 wait. When the fuck did that happen? 
That was just luck. I didn't know it was possible to become a man just by looking into some mirror. So, if we looked into it, would we turn into men too? Oh, wait! The mirror dispels curses. And if the witch's thing was a curse that all men are born female, then... All right, fine, I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy it, sure, yeah. I... I don't think so. But we'd better not mess with it. I don't know anything about this curio. Who knows what impact changing genders would have. There's a good chance I might have changed history if he's in the line for the crown. Curio sure are amazing, huh? Maybe this puppet will start moving if you aim the mirror at it. As an exasperated Nachiru watches, Eureka holds the mirror, holds the mirror up at the bisque doll, causing it to glow and transform like the donkey did. Uh, I was expecting that at least. What? What? What's going on? I lost the beast doll. Showing true form. Yeah, that would also cover it. A dying smile. And spider snack. My friend's wedding. Everyone's gonna be uh, gonna be rich. Could you find me some kind of fancy accessory? So a spider snack is what you're gonna take to the wedding? Fuck. All right. Sure. Have fun with that. The poison pack is the one thing. HP will be increased by seventy or reduced by. Then what's the fucking pull? Actually, oh wait, hold on. 250 experience and an attack with high stun rate that depletes defense. Number of da uh, number of downed allies increases the damage. Defense drops to zero until the end of the turn. It's used as well as magic barrier. That um, I have someone's one body. Chris poison attack manipulates evil poison. 20% uh, max HP and stun and bug bombs minus 100% avoid. All right then. I did not remember its name, but I knew the one one thing turned into the I didn't know if it was the same one or not. And also, Rep, do you remember the chatty old noble? And he was suspicious of Kay's husband when told who it was? Ah. Honestly, I don't remember at all, but ah. Got the Roth and Chancel, and now I gotta grind. Enjoy the grinding, Grumpin' Jimmy. We gotta find another curio now, though. Or I guess, what do you mean another curio? Let's just go back to this one, four. I'm here and I recovered. Woo, how's it going, Capricorn? Welcome back. Why Hubert is on his uh, safer side. Ah, you finally repaired it. With such an impressive machine, it sure does break down easily. What a pain. <laughs> what are you all doing around here? I'm far too busy, so I'll be heading out now. Don't you dare touch it. Do you hear me? You must never, ever touch it. Garden sternly warns your party and then scuttles off somewhere else. Well, now's the time to touch it. Hold your hand against the device and start and something appears from the crest. Garden sure is no pushover. You know, of all things I thought would come out of that, that was not one of them. As long as around escaping prison is. The crest flashes brightly and then the illusion disappears.
Who exactly was that just now? Despite your confusion, you no longer sense the space distortion that was recently present here. Wait, what? You can see the space uh, diver uh, diversion is gone, but there appears to be an ominous miasma here. It's way too dangerous to go any further. Time to head back and see what the witch is. We opened it, but we still couldn't. Weird. I figured that it was cut content. You had mentioned before this game was originally going to be made for the Vita and then like it got stuck in something for, for hell for a while and then came out as this game and the visions were supposed to be like bosses of other dungeons slash labyrinth that we would have gone to, right? Yeah, I'm figuring that would have been similar similar to, say, Labyrinth of Refrain. In that game, there were far more dungeons than what we got here, I think. And every single one of them had a boss at the bottom of it. If not one boss, usually multiple bosses. One in the middle is like a breakthrough, and then one at the end is like the actual overlord of that area. Or witch, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm assuming, I thought, like, when I saw this one, I'm pretty sure you guys remember me hearing, saying, like, this is not as big as the other one and that's because I was still grading it with like that sort of expectation but now actually let me say we haven't done that yet the stream now what 